And then again, this was this was to be a wake up call. This was to be a bring awareness. If you didn't know what you did, if you didn't know that you were doing this to the people that did it, to the people that I don't even know who are doing or never met, it is to bring awareness to it. Like, Hey, you need to reevaluate yourself. Are you doing this? Have you done this? Make sure you don't do this because <laughs> no, please take your time. I cannot tell you how it is just so indescribable, the feelings of like dealing, knowing, even if I didn't share with nobody, just knowing that those things happened to me, that it happened like so many times and all that stuff, not sharing that would have been a lot to live with, but sharing it with my family, my loved ones, my partner, it is very much indescribable. And hearing, because, you know, now I shared it with social media to bring awareness. I'm so sorry. Um, it is, it's honestly terrifying and disgusting and just the epitome of like sad to see the responses of a lot of people and their ignorance to the situation. But I don't, I try not to, you know, hate or feel some type of way or be bothered because it's like, you're ignorant to something just like I was. If I didn't know about it and saw it, I would probably speak how y'all are speaking on it. You know, like there's no to say any of, thank you. There's no to say, you know, against any of those things. Um, because you don't know about it, but it's difficult. I've literally gotten calls to my mother, calls to my job. It's affected me at work. I had to take a little bit over like a week off at work because I get triggers. I had a person that watches my page that was somewhat of a regular to my job come in and call me over to his table just to be like, hey, Miss Popular, hey, Miss Date Rape. And I can't tell you how that like just... It, again, it's just indescribable. I literally had a panic attack and a girl that I would never even really talk to at work. She's a bartender, super fine, super gorgeous. She's super cute. Um, she was literally helping me through my panic attack. And it was so bad that I didn't even know for the longest who was helping me through it in the bathroom at my job because it was so bad. Like this has been horrible on my mental, emotional it has been a strain on just me in general to where my like patience, my stuff like that has just taken a toll on me to where I can't even have the amount of patience or just just be to me somebody that people would want to be around because it's like I'm just not there enough to do that right now. A lot of this stuff I had put off because I didn't know what had happened to me. And when I found out, I was still working through all of that past stuff with that past relationship and what that did to me mentally to where my brain was like, bitch, you can't handle this. We're putting this off to the side until you work through all this. And now that I'm with the partner that I'm with, I have the support that I do and I feel like my brain is fine. Like, okay, you're in a place to where you're safe. You know, you can literally breathe. Like we're not going to give you everything you were putting off that you need to work through because even though you don't think you're going through it, your subconscious, your body is dealing with it and you need to release it. You need to do something with it. And it was just on me. It's been on me for months. Um, and then I was seeing so much stuff about sexual assault and just rape and just like just different stuff that has to do with that. And then women's month was coming up and, you know, just passed. And now we're literally at the start of sexual assault awareness month. And I feel like a lot of people don't even know that April is sexual assault awareness month. Um, and it was just, I'm, I'm very like spiritual. And for whatever reason, it was just really on me to finally release it in my head. I thought I was ready. <laughs> Oh my God, I thought I was ready to deal with it. Um, and 
for whatever reason, yeah, I, I felt like it needed to come out. And I, I can't tell you the amount of women that have messaged me about the same men that are on my list, different men that I would be around that I didn't know, or just different situations. And I love, I love hearing it. It is, it's very nice to know that I'm helping advocate or just whatever to these women, to people who haven't even messaged me, you know, like all.